the number four New England Patriot of all time, Andre Tippett. He was a force. Go watch the highlights. Andre Tippett blasts through the blockers. Andre Tippett has been all over. He was sacking the quarterback, and, and he was making plays that they had never seen around here. 1984, team record, 18 and a half sacks. Franchise record holder with 100 career sacks. You see some of the plays he made just shedding blockers and standing up a guy and throwing him to the turf. He just brought a unique violence to the game. Can't block Tippett. He was among the most dominant defensive players in football in the middle of the 1980s, and no one can deny that. When you watch Andre Tippett play football week in and week out, he was as good as any player ever at that position. I put Andre Tippett up there against Lawrence Taylor any day of the week. Here comes Lawrence Taylor. In trouble. Tippett got it. It was hard to differentiate LT from Andre Tippett. He was putting up Lawrence Taylor numbers, playing without all the talent around him that Lawrence Taylor had. Oh, what a big hit by Andre Tippett. Lawrence Taylor was the best uh, outside linebacker ever to play the game. Tippett was that just barely next level of guys down. To say you're one slight notch below the greatest player ever to play the position, that's still pretty damn good. One of the things he got the most publicity for was he was a you know, seventh degree black belt in some form of karate. Football is a fight in a lot of ways. It's it's hand to hand combat, and being able to utilize martial arts into the football process was really easy for me. Andre Chippen did a little karate stuff right there. He all played with only two Pro Bowl players on defense his entire career. Two different guys who went once each. He was one of the few players that offensive coordinators had to game plan for. Andre Tippett was a dominant player, uh, even though he wasn't playing on dominant teams. Nationally, people don't recognize what a talent he was because those teams weren't on TV. People did not see him play football. Andre Tippett is one of only two players to make the Pro Football Hall of Fame after playing his entire career with the Patriots. So have we done him justice by putting him at number four? No. Mm -mm. Maybe three? Possibly two? We got a guy who was probably one of the five, seven best players in the league for a period of time in Vince Wilfork. Oh! Intercepted! Vincent Wilfork! And he's not on your list. Somebody thought that was a great idea. And here you have Andre Tippett at number four. Home by January every year. He's top three. No question about that. He's another one of those guys, if you could slide his career back five years or so, it would have been really interesting to see what they could have done with a guy like Andre Tippett. A great play by Andre Tippett.